some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Scottsdale, Arizona, with this sovtard right here as he, uh, well, turns a simple traffic stop into, uh, several criminal violations, which may end up becoming a bench warrant for his arrest in the next few months. We'll see about it, though. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, do you have your driver's license? I don't... Do I have what? Your driver's license? Registration insurance? I'm doing is, actually, I am traveling under a common law jurisdiction. I'm not driving. Right. Okay. Um, do you have your driver's license? I got these documents for you. That's, I'm going to also need your driver's license. Okay, well, I'm telling you that I'm not driving. Well, I'm sorry to say this to you, my man, but uh, the legal system would certainly disagree with you on that. I mean, haven't you ever seen all these YouTube videos of... Uh, uh, sovereign citizens failing in court every single day because they don't have any comprehension of the law at hand. I mean, you claim you know the law, but when it comes to actually, well, knowing it like you should, you end up failing. Um, if you want to look up Arizona law, it's a must provide driver's license. Okay, well, I'm, I'm telling you, though, under a common law jurisdiction, I'm not driving. I'm traveling. I'm not driving. You are in the state of Arizona, though. Um, it's just going to be a simple traffic stop. Well, I'm telling you that I'm not driving. I'm traveling under a common law jurisdiction. That's what I'm telling you. Okay. So, if you care to look up Arizona law on your phone, Google, you can go ahead and Google that. I'm 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 under I'm ta I'm, ta I'm traveling under a common law jurisdiction. So I don't know. I don't I don't understand what you're talking about, honestly. I'm just being real with you. So you're driving If you are traveling under a common law jurisdiction, then you should be able to at least cite some of these laws that you speak of. I mean, cite some uh, statutes, cite something other than saying you're under common law or some other bullshit like that. I mean, how's that going to help you out in the court whenever you get summoned there after this particular incident? In the state of Arizona. I'm not, I'm not driving. Like the definition of driving is me driving and engaging in commerce. I'm not driving and engaging in any commerce. I'm even under a common law jurisdiction in my private capacity in my private automobile. Uh, yeah, could you uh, please provide the, uh, well, reference point where you got that particular bullshit from? Because according to this U.S. statute right here, that's not what driving is, you numb nuts. Um, are, you for, are you failing to provide ID then? I, I, I gave you, I sat there, I... I gave you what you needed to see. Okay, I'm giving. Are you failing to provide your driver's license? I gave you what you needed to see. You, you, you need. I'm giving. I'm, I'm handing you these documents, and you're a public servant, right? You're a public servant. Sorry. I, I asked you. Are you a public servant, right? You took you, you took an oath to uphold the Constitution, right? Absolutely. Okay. So yeah. what I'm saying is, what I'm saying to you right now mm -hmm. is, I'm not driving. I'm traveling under a common law jurisdiction. Therefore. I don't understand what you're telling me right now. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. So, so I, I, and you're, you're supposed to acknowledge these documents. And if you don't, then you can have, you can, you can, you know what I mean? You can get your watch commander and I could talk to him. Yep. I want to speak to your. Let me ask you something, you uh, lead paint drinking soft hard moron. Uh, why is it that all of you think that calling for the supervisor is going to get you out of this situation? Uh, from what I've seen, it rarely ever does. Thank you. Hi, I'm Officer Wood with the Solver Police Department. Yeah, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm fine. Any weapons in the vehicle? 
I don't answer questions, man. I don't know okay. what you're talking about. I don't. I don't even know what you're. I don't even know what you're saying right now. Like what crime? What crime did I commit? That's really what I want to know. What crime did I commit? Where? Well, where's the harm? Here to back up the other officer. She's the one that. I know, but I'm asking you, like, cause you, cause you, you a public servant too, right? Yep. So I'm asking you, what, what, like, where's the, where's the injury, harm, and the loss at? Who is saying that I did something to them? Where's the, where's the crime at? I just arrived. I'm here as a backup. You know, I don't know what she pulled you over for. So what y'all y'all finna y'all is are you guys gonna have y'all watch commander here so I could talk to him? Cause I don't I, I I'm I'm really I don't understand I'm lost. You're wanting what? I'm sorry. I'm said I'm a, I don't know nothing about I'm lost right now I'm lost I don't understand why I'm being stopped if I haven't committed a crime. Did she tell you why she stopped you? What? Did she tell you? She Did said what she 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 said what she said but I don't understand it because what she's saying is what it's did not she a. Say? I man, I you know what I mean. She, you gotta have, you have to ask your fellow officer. You don't know what she said to you when she came you have, to the window. You have to ask your fellow officer. Ask your fellow officer what she said. Okay. Well, it seems like you're the type of dude that, uh, well, no matter what they say you did, you'll still say that exact same BS line. No victim, no crime. Uh, how about this? Uh, I bet you anything that you think that uh, running a red light is a victimless crime. Well, that's all fine and dandy in theory until somebody ends up getting killed. And then, oh, you have no way to, uh, well, help yourself out of that situation because you thought you could get away with it for so long and then somebody ended up being the victim, huh? Just a little food for thought just in case there might be a few brain cells rolling around up in that, well, mostly empty head of yours. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm Officer Quintana, Silver Police Department. How What's up? Tonight? What's up, bro? How you doing? Yeah, you doing all right tonight? What's I'm, going on? I'm 100. I mean, shit, she... I mean, you have to ask her, you know what I mean? She said... I, I, I did. So, initially, she she uh, stated she stopped you for rolling the stop sign. So, that's that's uh, what the initiated traffic stop. And we're just out here just uh, making sure. We, we need to identify you. So, that's why we're just... Uh, I mean, and I and, and really, I, I, hand, I handed her these documents. And these documents right here will let her know exactly who I am. And I told her and I informed her and let her know that I'm traveling under a common law jurisdiction that I'm not driving. Okay. And, and does this uh, common law jurisdiction bullshit that you pulled out of your ass say that you don't have to stop at a, tra a stop sign at all times? I mean, because I'm sure that Arizona law would say that you have to stop at a stop sign. Make a complete stop, that is, you gibbering idiot. I don't, and it don't require me to need a driver's license to travel. Therefore, I'm in my own private capacity. I'm in my own private automobile. So what she's saying and what she told me, I don't really have no understanding about, really, to tell you the truth. So if she, if you, if you need to know who I am, she need to know who I am, and that 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 young lady need to know who I am. I'm, I'm I will provide, and you supposed to. Under under the Constitution, you're supposed to take these documents and you can if okay. you need to know who I am. Oh, really? You say the Constitution says that these officers are supposed to take these documents. Uh, can you point that out for me in the Constitution? Because, well, I've read all seven articles and uh, all 27 amendments, so I've never seen that particular one in there i mean is it stored in there somewhere with the uh emoluments clause is it uh in the fourth amendment is it in the third amendment where is it at dude it's all on these it's all on this paperwork for you just so i know who i speak to can i get your first name i'm not asking for your hey man i i i i sat there and told you you speak. you could take these documents I'll just, I'll and go, go from there sir. i'll call you sir i just didn't want to be rude and I was going to call you by Hey, man. Name. Uh, where are you coming from, sir? What? Where are you coming from, sir? I don't answer questions. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I don't answer questions. Like, I don't need to because what crime have I committed? That's what I'm saying. Like, you guys have to let me know, like, is there any harm, injury, or loss? Where is the where is the harm? Where is the injured party saying that I did something to them? I haven't committed a crime. So 
So no injured party, okay? Uh, like I said, what initiated traffic stop was uh, you rolling the stop sign. That's what well, I don't. Well, that's what I'm saying. Well, what? I, well, well, I don't understand that. Is what I'm trying to tell you. Like at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. I'm traveling. In, in my own private capacity, doing what I'm doing, going from point A to point B. I don't know what you, I don't know what she's talking about is and what I'm trying to right tell there. you. We're just, we're just out with you, just making uh, sure everything's okay. Okay. Uh, um, and then we want to just identify you so we know who you all are. All right. Well, well, if you don't, well, you, 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 uh, you, you, the chief commander, right? No, sir. I'm, so where, I'm, where, where's the, where's the watch he's commander at? Right? sir. I just wanted to come, just talk to you, let you know what's going on in case it was, you weren't informed. But he's in route, and uh, he, he'll be here shortly. Okay, okay all right, I appreciate it. Right. Thank you. I'm just trying to keep you up to date, so that way there's no questions, comments, concerns. And if you have any, we can uh, answer them and let you know, okay? I mean, I, I pretty much already asked you, like, what crime have I committed? Because from what y'all telling me, them is codes. I don't, and I don't, I don't understand them. Them is codes. Them is vehicle. Well, them is vehicle. You, you don't understand codes. Okay, dude. Can you, uh. Tell the uh, guy in the uh, black robe that when you appear before him over this that you don't understand statutes, laws, and codes and everything like that unless it's uh, spoon-fed to you by your soft-tard guru. Well, that, that, but, what I, but what I'm saying, though, no, okay, but I'm asking you. All right, so, so I'm going to ask you, like, is that a crime? No, that's not that's that's not a that's not a crime. You know what a crime? You know what a crime? I'm not trying to argue with you at, at all, at all, Miss Lady. But I'm asking you, like, you know what a crime is, right? You know that's not a crime. Like, at the, you have to. I, I'm obligated to provide ID and identify myself if I committed a crime, an actual crime. I haven't committed a crime. Oh, once again, you dumbass soft hard. Uh, you fail to understand anything about what the laws actually say. Because according to this statute right here, you have to present your driver's license at a traffic stop. So what is your actual excuse? Do you not have a driver's license? Well, that make perfect sense because your soft art guru told you you didn't have to have it. And you believed him, didn't you? Just like the fool you are. Uh, it's a crime code. If you would like to look it up, it's you saying, but see, you saying code. I'm, I'm, I'm talking. I don't understand codes. I'm talking about law. That I'm talking a about law. A, a code and the law is two different things. Bullshit. 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 See, that's what I'm saying. I don't understand. I'm not. I, I ain't, I'm not trying to argue with y'all. I'm not. I'm not. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to lie. I'm not trying to argue with y'all. Yeah. For real. I'm not trying to argue either. We're just informing you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We don't like to argue. Hey, I'm not trying to argue with y'all neither. I, I actually, y'all, y'all really pretty much trying to force business on me. Y'all trying to force me to do business with y'all. At the end of the day, if y'all trying to do business, I would like three forms of ID from all three of y'all. If y'all want to do business with me. Sheer fucking hubris. I mean, y'all. I mean, it, I mean, it, it is what it is. However, y'all like, no I'm a, 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 actually, what's what? Matter of fact, let me know. I got a pen or something because I, I need to get y'all information because now you threatening me. That's what I'm saying. Like, why, why are you threatening me? There's no threat. You are. She just, she just threatening. Me. Like, she just threatened me. Nah, y'all, nah, you they're, threatening they're me. Threatened. Like, you, you are, cause y'all, cause first of all, like, y'all, y'all got badges and guns and y'all, so you threatening me. Like, she's saying a final warning, like, a final warning for what? What, 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 what crime have I committed? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, what crime have I committed? She, she already went through that with you. But it, but what I'm telling, what I'm, what I had informed her and let her know that is that what, what she's saying, I don't understand at the end of the day like okay. i'm talking about where's the injured party who's saying i did something to them where's the harm injury or loss who's saying that's a crime what y'all saying right now y'all talking about codes and vehicle i don't understand that i'm i'm going from you know what when you when you you need a driver's license to engage in commerce you know that right oh wow are you ever the stupid one right here uh mr Softard? you do realize Arizona, just like every state in the union, has uh, different classifications for driver's licenses, including Arizona, and the operator's license is a class D, and they do have one 
for commercial driver's licenses, you freaking moron. So why don't you try actually researching everything that you say rather than making yourself look like a complete ignoramus. Oh, wait, that's uh, not going to be possible for you because your soft hard guru perhaps sucked up any remaining brain cells along with any uh, of the loose change in your pocket. You know that, right? You need a driver's license for Uber, limos, Lyft, to engage in commerce and make money. Okay, and I'm not... And that, that's not what I'm doing. I'm, 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 I'm traveling under a common law jurisdiction in my private own capacity from point A to point B. So therefore, what she's saying and what you're saying, like, I don't understand it. Like, and then she threatening me. Like, There's no threat here, sir. yeah, she threatening me. That's what I'm saying. So my thing is this, like, so are y'all detaining me? You are detained right now. For what? You just went over that you had ran a stop sign. But that, but I'm, uh, like, what crime, I'm asking, I'm asking what crime, though, what, like, what actual crime have I committed? We just explained All right, so. so we, can, we can have our supervisor explain that to you again. Okay, so y'all, okay, so y'all, okay. So y'all try to, y'all try to force business on me. So now, okay, you identify yourself. Can I see, can I, can I see three forms of ID from you, Miss Lady? Because you, because now, at the end of the day, I, it's I like. You know what? We might as well just go ahead and skip to when the supervisor shows up, but it's still not going to get him anywhere. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? You the watch commander? What's up, bro? What's up? I said, how you doing, man? Pretty good, man. How are you? I'm good. I'm 100. I'm fine, man. You said what? I said, I'm good. So what's going on? Like, I mean, is y'all trying to force business on me or what? What is y'all like? What's the what's the problem? Like, what what crime have I committed is what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, this officer, Officer Torres, already explained to you, you failed to stop at the stop sign. I so. mean, but I, but what? I, are you the watch commander or no? I'm the uh, sergeant on duty, supervisor. Okay, well, what I'm what I'm saying, all right, and what I asked them is, what crime have I actually committed? Like, where's the harm, injury, or loss? Because what she's saying to me, she's speaking in in codes, like she's talking about vehicle codes, and I'm not driving, I'm traveling, I'm going from point A to point B in my private capacity, in my own private property, in my own private automobile which is not stolen i'm not up under no contract with you guys at all i'm not under no contract i'm not under no parole no probation contract i'm not under anything so therefore i you guys would have to show me and have an injured party around here saying that i actually committed a crime that i actually tried to steal i tried to harm or i vandalized their property in order for you guys to try to force because you right now at like y'all been holding me for a while now so now I'm, it's starting to be to where y'all trying to force business on me. And that and that young lady back there threatened me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if she's threatening me, that right there, she, she, she sat there and going against the constitutional law, period, point blank. So therefore... Okay, okay. Uh, you are the same guy that just a few minutes ago said that the Constitution said that they had to look at your documents. Uh, so how am I supposed to trust you on uh, what the Constitution says when you couldn't even get that little bit of information correct? How am I supposed to trust you on any bit of information if you can't even get that right as well? I mean, not just the Constitution, but anything at this point. Like, you, you guys have to tell me what crime have I actually committed? Because what she's saying, I don't understand, bro, at all. I don't understand what she's talking about, period. Uh, so that's okay. what I'm saying. So I don't like. What can so, I address you by? What? What can I address you by? Hey, man, it, you know, it, it don't even at that at this point right now, I don't even answer questions, bro. For real. I don't answer questions. Well, so that's what I'm saying. Like, well, like you, you want me to explain to you what, what, what's going on. So what can I address you by while I talk to you? I mean, you can you can tell me what crime I, what crime I, I, I have from committed from California. You could tell me what crime and what crime have I committed, sir? Okay. And if and tell me if, if am I being detained, bro? Right now. Am you I are. being you are, yes, for sir. what though? What for what? What crime have I committed, man? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Whether what crime have I committed? Driving you still have to abide by Arizona Revised Statute traffic laws. Man. So this, as you were traveling, you failed to stop for the stop sign. So man, that's why she pulled you over. But I don't. But at the end of the day, but I'm telling you, uh -huh. 
I don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand what she's saying. I don't understand what y'all talking about. You know what a stop sign is? Man, I don't understand. I don't even answer questions. Okay, you know what a stop sign is? I don't answer questions, bro. I'm not so, obligated. I'm not obligated because I haven't committed a crime. Okay. So where's the crime? I, I'm I, asking. I already told you what you did. You failed bro, to stop. But you but you you're you know you what you saying is you talking you talking in codes, bro. That's not You're a code. talking in codes, bro. Yeah, you're talking in codes. In what you're, you is talking you to give, what, try, what documentation were you trying to get? This will tell you everything you need to know, bro. That right there will tell you. Them is that's my that's my notice of intent and claim the rights right there. That'll tell you everything you need to know. You and you should identify that. You know what I'm saying? And go and we can go from there, bro. Other than that, I'ma take it like y'all y'all starting y'all kidnapping me y'all kidnapping me and y'all threatening me at this point, bro. No one's threatening you. No one's kidnapping. Nah, that young lady back there. That young lady back there. She she already threatened me, bro. Who's Donald? So, Mr. Davis. That correct? I don't answer questions, man. Well, I'm, I'm asking you because this paperwork here says Eric. I mean, it, I mean, it, what it what it's stating is what it is, bro. I don't answer questions, man. That's why I'm saying I, I told you everything you needed to know. Like that's why I'm saying I'm still trying to figure out like what crime I've committed. Like where's the injured party? Who is saying I did something to them, bro? Like at this point, at this point, y'all pretty much abusing y'all authority and going against the constitu my constitutional rights. Uh no, uh the con your constitutional rights you have no clue what they are at this point because if you actually knew them you would understand that the 10th amendment grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the constitution traffic laws are not covered in the constitution and therefore the states can create laws a uh, traffic laws as a result of that you gibbering idiot Y'all going against my constitutional rights at this point, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, at the end of the day, y'all, all, all four of y'all, I don't know how many it is back there, whatever y'all got going on, but y'all need to identify yourself. I need three forms of ID if y'all trying to do business with me, because at this point, you must be trying to, you trying to do business with me? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Are you trying to do business with me? You want to get sued? No, we're trying to get your identification. So but I'm get, saying, but I'm, but what I'm right. saying is, what I'm saying is, like y'all obviously must want to get sued because y'all took an oath to uphold the Constitution mm -hmm. to protect and serve the people, and right now y'all threatening me and y'all forcing, y'all trying to force business on me, y'all trying to force business on me. So if y'all trying to force business and y'all want to do business. Just how y'all trying to ask me for an ID? I need an ID. Y'all need to identify yourself, cause I need to. I need to handle my business. If y'all trying to, if that's what y'all want to do, y'all want to handle business and, and y'all want to do business, then I need. I need identification from all four of y'all. Phone for me. Random number nine for the for the stop sign. We'll get out of here. Just use the one or whatever's on this 28. Huh? There's no 28. There's no uh, 42. I bought it in Nevada. Check with dispatch. So y'all not finna identify yourself? We already did. I'm off Scott to the. Nah, but I'm saying, but I, but I, but I'm saying though, bro. Like obviously y'all, y'all detaining me and y'all, y'all, y'all pretty much violating my rights now, bro. No, we're not so y'all, you are violating my rights, bro, because I didn't, I, I, I sat there and already and told you what's going on, and you pretty much now you're forcing business on me. So if you're forcing business on me, then you need to identify yourself because anybody can be dressed up. And in the disguise and have a badge and have a gun on their hip. Y'all threatened me. That lady already threatened me back there, bro. Per period, point blank. Y'all, that lady threatened me. So if she gonna threaten me, y'all forcing me and y'all holding me here. Now you need to identify yourself, bro. And I need three forms. Of ID I need three forms, though. Okay. For real. Like, I need, I need the badge number. I need your business card and I need your ID, bro. Cause you, cause obviously you trying to force business and you want to do business with me. So I have to, I, I got to handle that personally. Like, come on, bro. This is ridiculous, bro. <clears throat> they 
And y'all already, y'all, y'all, y'all bonds is already up for grabs because y'all failing to identify y'all self for real. Man, y'all sitting there wasting y'all time, bro. For real. For the record, one of my hands is holding my phone, and the other one is sitting right here. Just so they know. Just so you know. Just so y'all know. I thought old boy was the watch commander, man. What happened? He's supposed to be making the decisions. What y'all gonna do? Like, y'all finna, y'all detaining me? Y'all violating my rights right now. What y'all finna do? Like, I ain't committing no crime. What y'all finna do? Y'all finna get sued or what? Like, it's starting to get ridiculous now. I know y'all read the license plate, so y'all know what's up. This this automobile, this private automobile was not stolen. Ain't nothing ain't nothing going on with the car, nothing. I don't know what y'all talking about, man. This is wild. This is wild, man. It's a wild situation. Y'all trying to force business on me, man. God damn. So my hand on the steering wheel, y'all see that? And my other hand holding the phone, so I ain't doing not nothing for y'all to shoot me or nothing. We're going to get that clear. Eric, this is your paperwork. That's your citation. Court date's on the bottom and your time and address for you need to appear in court, all right? Want to explain that to them? Yep. Do you have any questions? If you want to go ahead and take a look at it, but the court date is at the bottom. Um, it's going to be for Separate two uh, charges. The so first charge being the stop sign, the other charge being failure to ID. Um, it is a criminal charge. Um, so. Do you have any questions? Nah, but I would like y'all to have a good night. Sorry? I said, nah, but I would like y'all to have a good night. I hope you have a good night, too. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, dude, you turned a simple traffic stop into some criminal charges right there. Congratulations, dude. You are a complete and total moron. I bet your soft hard guru must be proud that you will be summoned to court eventually. And, uh, well, if you don't appear in court, you will have a warrant issued for your arrest. And, uh, well, we'll see where it goes from there. Hopefully the charges won't be dismissed, but they may take pity on you because, well, it appears that you're an incompetent moron, but hey, who knows? So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?